Well, my name is uh, Major Richard Gibson. I'm the district commander here for the Northern District. I have the rank of major, and I actively supervise around 150 officers, and the Northern District comprises of 110,000 residents and 61 very, very active community associations. I've been on the job now for 20 years, and I've been in a capacity as a district commander for about a year and a half now. Well, I think our profession um, has a lot of challenges right now. A lot of those challenges have stemmed from um, national practices or events that have occurred nationally. Everything from Ferguson to uh, any other instance, Freddie Gray, for example. Um, officers now and, and police officers in general aren't trusted like we used to be. And we're getting, we have to get back to having more legitimacy and trust from the community. We've changed the philosophy in the Northern District from chasing bad guys to protecting good people from bad guys. Meaning that we listen to community complaints and community concerns and we've actually adopted measures that the community actually wants us to do um, to help them get rid of some type of criminal element in their community and we've actually seen a, a huge impact on that. The best qualities that officers have, they're virtuous. We have a lot of potential candidates come through, but we also have to make sure that the potential candidates come through that are qualified. And I think it's very, very important now, especially in the light of officers getting in trouble, how important it is to screen potential candidates. Because there can be candidates that may have some type of um, latent criminality that may, they may not even know about, right? That is not transparent until they start wearing a gun and a badge. These officers, the ones who come to work and they have a general passion for this job, a sincere passion, are going to come out here and do what they have to do to make that community better. There's a lot of good people here in Baltimore that I think would be exceptional police officers. And what would be important about that though, since they live in Baltimore or they're from Baltimore, they would have a genuine interest and a genuine investment in the community here. I think that'd be incredible.